Once a month, we invite area moms to come and invent and share their thoughts about all things parenting in a segment we call Mom Therapy. But let's face it, there's another important voice in parenting we haven't heard from yet. And today, forget about the moms, forget about the dads, it's about the grandparents and grandparent therapy, everybody. Can I get a round of applause? Yay! Get ready for another round of applause because we're going to say hello to Robert, Jermiko, and Shirley. One more time, everybody. <laughs> Okay, so in the ever-evolving world that we live in today, I know it wasn't a big thing when you guys were coming up just a few short years ago, but uh, tech, it's really big nowadays in the world we live in, and everything's driven by technology, and it seems like in order to get a hold of anybody now, you got to be at a text, you got to be at a FaceTime, and of course, this is what you guys uh, always do, is slide into people's DMs. Right? You guys are big DM sliders. So, uh -huh. <laughs> since you guys are of a different generation, do you think it's necessary for grandparents to be tax savvy in order to connect with their grandchildren? Robert, I'm going to start Jordan, with Jordan, I don't even know what sliding in the DM is. So, you've never done that before. You've never done I've heard about sliding left and sliding right. Okay, but I don't so know about the DM. <laughs> yeah. So, how do you feel about this? Do you feel like I need to be tech savvy in order to have the relationships? Yeah, we're part of the world, you know, and my four year old granddaughter, she's already taking her her iPhone yeah. and a pad and she's looking at programs so yeah I have to and I, I love that she teaches me things so I use it at work but it's a whole different generation there you go how about you Jermiko I'm quite astute when it comes to tech um, okay. I believe that it's good to be astute with your grandkids but I also believe that it's good to be a part of the world because the world's changing now and sure. if we don't change with it we die I don't want to die <laughs> <laughs> so, my, as a matter of fact, I'm so savvy that my grandkids call me Gigi, and I'm like, what's Gigi? God's gift. Hey, right. I like so, that. I like that. Right. So, that's my so we're on board. How about you, Sharon? Oh, well, I was terrible at technology, <laughs> and, but nobody would talk to me. They wouldn't answer their phones. So I had to learn how to text, I email, and now I'm on Facebook. That's the next thing I'm going to master is Facebook. Hey, nobody out there yes. poke Shirley on Facebook and give an answer <laughs> to me. And Shirley knows sliding I in any field. I told you she got to leave Facebook because that's where the kids are. That they're not that's there. A, no. I'm going to teach her Instagram. Yes, she's going to yes. teach me. Live yes, yes, over the Instagram. Yeah. And I don't know sliding to you. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about that too. I'm leave. You guys got this segment. You don't need me here with all these jokes. I love it. So, all right, let's talk about boundary issues. Uh, and, and this is something that, you know, in a recent parents forum um, uh, there was a topic that the grandparents were calling the shots and not respecting the parents rules when they came up so included showing up at the parents house unannounced um, so do you guys think your kids do you think you overstep when it comes to your kids Jermiko yes <laughs> <laughs> how so I um I, I give my son friendly nice sweet heart attacks um, I remember when my grandkids were small my granddaughter wanted to uh, know where New York was and and if we could go that day and actually we were headed from Saks I had just bought her this tiny little bikini and I thought well yeah we can go today so I called the airline and I got two tickets oh, and I headed to New York. Grandma spoils over uh -huh. here. So wait so we get to New York and she, we're in the hotel and she says I'm hungry and by the time the pizza got there well she'd fallen asleep and so I'm trying to wake her up to get the pizza and I can't wake her up so I call my son and said I can't wake up Randy what's wrong he says well ma where are you I said I'm in New York I know you don't have my child in New York feeding her pizza at this time <laughs> so, Jimmy, and so he says you didn't tell me I said I didn't tell you when I was taking you places why should I tell you when I'm taking uh -oh. her places? Uh -oh. <laughs> So, so on that note, Jermiko, I actually want to go to San Juan. So uh -huh. can you get on your phone hey, and look, we ready. look something? Can we Besides, do Besides, now my son is a pilot, so we can go. Oh, hey, there you go. Oh, go first minute. class this year. Can, I, can I get up? Don't leave me hanging here. Give me, give me up. There you go. All right, Robert. I'm still not convinced this guy's a grandfather. But let's, let, let's go through it. What about you? Boundary issues. Do you oh, think you overstep? And daughter. keep in mind, your daughter is here. Right. So if you lie, right. she's one of our producers. You'll right. get in trouble. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm always crossing boundaries and my daughter always thinks that she can do a better job than I can <laughs> because she goes, will you remember when I did this and you remember in this? So she's always calling me on it. But um, you know, it's also about coming into her house because sure. not this daughter but my other daughter, it's at, it's my house. Yeah. Yeah, so for sure. I don't want her painting the walls. I don't want my grandchild painting the walls. 
And so setting boundaries, I think, ultimately is discussing it. It's really talking about what's okay, what's not okay. But she'll call me on stuff all the time. It's just a discussion. So yeah, so you're open to evaluation and maybe change. It sounds like two are self-aware. How about you, Shirley? Well. Vacation. <laughs> vacation. Yeah. Well, I overstep boundaries too. But okay. what you have to do is you have to discuss that with your children to see exactly what kind of boundaries you're going to be setting here. Because some that you want is not exactly what they want. And then you're going to run into a problem. When you're doing this, of course, you're not going to be talking about boundaries in front of your grandchildren. Because your grandchildren are just going to have a great time at that. Yeah, seeing who's going to, who's going to win, yeah. grandma or my, my dad or my yeah. mom. Yeah, you know? there you go. So, yeah. There you go. All right, well, how about this? There's a recent study, and it found that three in five grandparents believe that today's parenting styles are worse than they were when they were raising their own children, with discipline being the biggest issue. So as grandparents, do you discipline your grandkids when they are misbehaving? Shirley, I'm going to start Yes, with they you. do. I do. Well, first off, if they're going to be endangering themselves or somebody else, then I will discipline them, you know, if the parent's not around, of course. And the other one is that if I've told them not to do something and they're going to do it anyway, then I will discipline them. You know, they're, because they keep trying. Even though you told them not to do something and they keep trying to do it, you've got to discipline them. Absolutely. Yes. Well, you, you're, the, you're the matriarch of the family. You have every right Absolutely. to be doing that. It's I'm, my house. <laughs> there you go. How about you, Robert? Right. you got to set rules. Yeah. I mean, I think that's really important. And um, so I've got a balance, too, because I'm a psychologist. So, you know, my daughter and I do not want to get into this fight in between my granddaughter. It's like, so we have to agree. Otherwise, you know, children are very good at wedging between That's two true. parents, That's true. grandparents. Yeah. So, but you got to set limits. They got to learn. I think that's the biggest thing. You got to set limits, and you're an extension of the parents anyway. You know, I have, I have a young child, and I would hope that when he's in the care of my mother or father, my son's grandparents, that they're instilling the same principles that I'm trying to. I don't want my son to feel like, oh, I'm with the grandparents. Yeah. It's party time. We're going to New York and ordering pizza. <laughs> oh, Unless okay. you can go to New York. <laughs> Your kids need to have me for that. Yeah, they really right. do. I needed to have you as a grandmother. So, right. Jermico, Jermico, tell me, what do, you, what do you think about this? Well, you know, I had the discussion with my son. Um, how would you like for me to treat your kids? Well, tell good. me. That's good. And, uh, and then I don't listen. Uh, but, <laughs> no, I do. <laughs> I do. But I don't believe in... Um, spanking or hitting children. I don't believe in that whipping thing. Of course, I got it when I was so, little, yeah, yeah. which is why I don't mm -hmm. believe in it. I, I just believe that when they do something wrong, that we need to have a conversation with them. We need to tell them why we're taking something of value away so that they mm -hmm. understand this is not acceptable. I like that. Uh -huh. So, right. so now right. here's the thing, guys. We got to go in about 45 right. seconds. But I've asked mothers, I've asked fathers this. I'm gonna go down the line. I've asked a mother what it's like to be. What's what's? How would they define what it means most to them to be a mother? I've asked the same for fathers. I'm gonna ask you, as grandparents, what does it mean most to you, Robert, to be a grandfather? Um, that's the reason to have kids, so you can be a grandparent. <laughs> <laughs> Because there's a, there's a lot answer. of joy. You get older, you're easier going, you just have fun, and there's so much fun. You learn so much, you get to play again. I love that answer. How about you, Jermico? I have done my job, did it well, and now I'm on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. I like that. How about you, Shirley? Oh, I just think it's just great. Kids keep you young. Okay, yep. you, and yeah. I agree with Robert. That's what I have, it's fun. See, now, I was confused when we did this segment. I said, we grandparents, I, I guess we're going to have some older people, some older minds in here that don't know what's going on. This is not what I'm looking at no, right no, here. we're not older. You guys no. are not oh, anything no, like we're that. we're seasoned. Oh, no. and, I, and I think the beauty of it is, as a younger guy, is you, you got to understand that we can learn so much from the shoes and the, and the path in life that you guys have walked through. So that's why I was really excited to do this segment right here with you guys today, mm. because you remind us that we got a lot to learn still. That's and right. we're on our way. Grandson and Thank I you. go yeah. skateboarding. I want to go to New York, Jermico. I want to go to New York. <laughs> yeah. All right. After we go skateboard. <laughs>
<laughs> well, a big thank you uh, okay. to the three of you guys, Shirley, Jermico, and Robert. Thank, thank you for you. sharing the wealth of knowledge. We look forward to having you back sometime. Oh, right. oh yes. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you thank very you. much. And we also want to hear from all of you grandparents at home, everybody. So drop us a line on social media. Let us know what you thought about today's grandparent topics. And no, Jermico's not taking you to New York. That's so, true. so tell us what you want to talk about in another round of grandparent therapy. We'd love to know and have some fun.